Hey, what's up everybody? Andrew Steele here. This evening I'm just hanging out with a couple of my buddies that have a couple different buses here. We've got a uh, 2016 Marathon Coach and then a brand new Numar Essex. This is a 2019. I'm going to show you a couple of the differences between these two buses and why they're a... <laughs> these guys always got to mess with me. But hey, it's all good. I'll do whatever I got to do to... Uh, Get you guys an inside look at all this cool stuff so but i want to show you what the difference is between these two coaches and why this coach is 2.2 million dollars and why this coach is 750,000. i've seen people in prevos and newels have problems and it's easy to pick apart any coach so i'm not knocking numar at all i'm just showing a couple of the little minor details at why prevo charges more than they do Numar is definitely a top of the line motor coach. In no means is this video made to degrade Numar in any way. So as a professional detailer, I get to touch and feel a lot of different coaches. And there's definitely a lot of talk about, hey, what's the difference between a Numar or a Tiffin and a Prevo or a Newell? As someone that touches and feels these coaches every day, I thought I'd show you guys a few of the small little details that I noticed that may justify that extra million and a half or so. so. One of the first things that I noticed is you will find a lot of silicone in the cracks of a Numar. Like this is the tailpipe here. Now let's take a look at the tailpipe on the Prevo. I'm back here behind this Prevo bus right now. And as you can see, the tailpipe is all stainless. You don't have any molding pieces that are stuck on by silicone here's here's some more of that silicone and then you can also see the slide outs are held together by screws you've got all kinds of different screws here holding this slide out in i'm underneath the slide out of a numar essex and this is what it looks like now let's go take a look at what it looks like on a prevo slide out oh now I'm underneath the slide out of the Prevo bus, and this is what it looks like. Completely painted. You can even see my reflection. Also, you'll see no screws. As a professional detailer, I get to really touch and feel every square inch of every coach. And when I was wiping the waxes on this Numar, I could feel just a little bit of flex. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but when we're wiping the waxes on a Prevo bus, it is super solid. When I touch the side of this Prevo bus, there is absolutely zero flex at all. Nothing like what I was just feeling on that Numar. The other major differences between the Prevo and the Numar is the basement doors. As you can see, when I open this door and close it, wow, why didn't it close? I just opened this door for the first time on camera here, and I have no idea what's causing this. Uh, I hope I didn't, don't get in trouble here, but Seriously, like you can't make that up. I, I was just trying to show the difference in the weight of it, but now the basement door is broken. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. You can't make this stuff up. There's another way you're gonna uh, catch that 1.5 million. Now I will say that this isn't a common problem. This was completely random that this didn't, uh, didn't close all the way so i'm not trying to totally rip on newmar here i was just trying to kind of show i was just trying to show some of the differences in build quality but it looks like we've got an issue here on this bus hopefully we can uh, help them get this fixed did it close yeah. okay so after we adjusted the latch a little bit we were able to get that close but that was kind of funky now I'm going to open the basement doors on this Prevo bus. Wow, it is so much heavier. 
and this is the plumbing bay. So when you look down in here too, you can just get an idea of the detail of all of the different switches and features. You've got a completely digital screen here. You've got all stainless, stainless fixtures, just really crisp lines. And um, even the dump buttons are illuminated. Just a lot of really cool stuff. I did a tour of this Prevo a few weeks ago. So if you look back on my YouTube videos, you'll find a $2 million Prevo tour. So if you want to see more of this bus, go check out that video from a few weeks ago. Also make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss more of this fire content. So I'm going to go ahead and close this basement door. Let's see how this closes compared to that new one that we just closed. That thing is like, I don't even know how to explain it. Let's, let's open this one here. This is a side opening door. Now these are the inverters. I showed this in that video the other way, other uh, week as well, but uh, let's close this door. Super solid. I, I don't want to rip on Newmar, but it's kind of like the difference between like a Chevy and a Mercedes if you've opened and closed the doors on, on the two different ones. Now I will say that the new Chevys, the technology has gotten a lot better. And I'm definitely impressed with the new Chevys, but, and the Mercedes aren't quite as solid as they used to be as well. So I'm talking more about the Mercedes from like 10 or 20 years ago and the Chevys of 10, 10 or 20 years ago was the comparison that I was making. This is the plumbing bay of the Numar. And as you can see, it's plastic buttons, no stainless steel. Still really nice, just not quite as tight as that Prevo. If you want to get in on your detailer's good side, this is the secret, Monster Energy. Another way to get on your detailer's good side is cold beer. I don't recommend this while your detailer is washing your coach though. It's not going to look quite as good as if he has a couple beers in him. No, but seriously, when customers keep us loaded up on caffeine, for some reason it makes us enjoy the job more and uh, it's just more of a pleasant work environment. Also really good tunes help keep us in a good mood and we gotta stay fresh if you want your coach looking fresh. Some of the other things that they did on this Prevo Marathon coach is all of the tiny details in the fins. I don't know if you can see the marbling in the paint of these fins, but this is just extremely intricate detail that you're not gonna find in a fiberglass coach. Here I am in the fins of the Numar Essex. They're really nice, but definitely not even close to the amount of detail work and man hours that were put into painting the fins in that Prevo bus. So the owners of these two coaches are buddies. And one thing I have to say that they both did really right on both of the coaches is the black wheels. Great call, guys. Another one of the big differences about this Prevo bus behind me versus the Newmark coach is the Prevo bus has a complete steel cage. The bus is basically built on a steel cage and then they add the fiberglass sidewalls after. The Numar Essex behind me is more of a body on top of the frame type deal. The thing that this coach has that the Numar does not have is just an insane paint job. The amount of marbling and detail work in this paint job is, is so many man hours and so much money coach it's got 36 coats of clear on it just insane detail work there's like a little bit of detail in the paint work you see a little bit of shadowing here in the Numar, but it's not even close to the amount of detail work that's on that Prevo marathon coach just want to point out a couple of the minor details that you may see like all of the lighting in the roof the flooring, LED lighting, the cabinets, just all of the little tiny details really add up and you can definitely notice a difference in build, build quality, but it's up for you to decide if it's another mil five worth of build. After asking a lot of different customers that I have that have owned both Prevos and fiberglass coaches, what's the difference between the two? The biggest difference 
And a lot of them will say that fiberglass coaches have a lot more rattle than a bus does. These buses are made to go down the road a million miles and they're really a sturdy frame. You're a lot less likely to have rattles in a Prevo or a Newell than you are in a fiberglass coach. I hope you enjoyed watching this video today. If you want to see more RV related content, please like and subscribe.